So I thought I'd do a walk around of my 1971 Ford Cortina Mark III in Tawny Brown uh, 1300L. While I walk you around the car, um, I'll talk about a bit of the history that I know of um, ARL 812K. So it was purchased by Mr. Dobbins back in 1971 and um, he bought it from Sintostal at Ford. Sadly, um, Mr. Dobbins died very early on and didn't really enjoy the car and his wife then kept the car in the garage as a shrine and that's why it's in such good condition that we see today. Um, from there, the car um, was eventually let go by the widow and uh, the chairman of the East Anglia Cortina Club uh, owned and ran the car for a number of years. He did a lot of work to it um, and he was responsible for uh, changing the sills, uh, the rear tubs and he also did... Um, the rear valance as well. I've done the um, brake master cylinder, uh, got one of those from Pass Parts. Um, I've done the head on the engine, uh, I've repaired the seats, um, we've replaced all the shocks, springs and the ball joints. Uh, the calipers have been changed, they came from Big Red. Um, the clutch has been done and it's got a new clutch. Uh, the top of the head came off and it's had new um, valve stem oil seals because it was burning a bit of oil. Um, let's just see how much is on the clock now. just short of 70,000. In my time, I've done the uh, rear void brushes twice. So, done that recently. It's been to the body shop and seen paint twice. The first time is in 2010. In the Mark III Owners Club and they were organising a celebration run down to Dagenham uh, for the 40th anniversary of the Mark III. Um, it was a really good event but uh, the car did look quite tired and I wanted to get the car looking just right. So the car ended up being taken um, to Peugeot uh, in Lincoln and we got uh, quite a lot of work done uh, and a re-spray there. Special thanks to a club member at the time called Andy Norton Firth who organized two panels, for, um, wings for me. Um, these are the wings you're looking at at the moment. Um, and the wings, the top of the um, underside of the wings were replaced where it usually goes along here. Also a front valance was put on as well because that uh, was suffering with a bit of rot. One of the things I've always wanted to do is keep the car standard as, as it looked as it came out of the uh, factory. And when I got the car, it had the wrong sports wheels on. So I did search around 
and it didn't take me very long to find uh, the original l spec wheels. I won all four of those on eBay, um, and believe it or not, the guy dropped them off for me, and um, I won them for a pound. Taking a moment now to look at the interior, one of the things I can't get along with totally is the um, ergonomics on the seats. On long journeys, they absolutely can crucify you, so I do have to have a back support. The upholstery again has been sympathetically restored um, it was um, suffering with a few rips and tears it's not perfect but I, I feel like it's got some good patina um, the seat belt in the back I added uh, for the kids when they were young I felt that was a sort of security um, I, I needed like every carpet um, decades old it was absolutely threadbare so I was lucky to find the last remaining as far as I knew the last remaining carpet for a Ford Cortina uh, in brown for the right spec um, in a closing down sale um, in an auto shop and uh, I think I paid something like £60 for this I'm really pleased with it as you can see there it's got the correct inbuilt matting so just some period features um, speakers um, from the 70s all good uh, nodding dog which has since stopped nodding a few years ago um, Nearly correct radio. That's probably um, the radio out of an 80s Mark V. And then, um, I don't know if everybody knows and remembers the faux orange. Um, they're quite difficult to find now. This is the work I've just had done from CBR Restorations in Cheswin Hay in uh, the West Midlands. I've got to say, They've done an amazing job on rebuilding this arch here and the paint match is absolutely bob on. Difficult to get a picture underneath of the car. Uh, January 2023, the last service according to the oil filter. And there you can see some of the replaced uh, shocks and springs. Why don't we now take a look under the bonnet? So this area hasn't seen paint. The valve stem seals have been replaced, uh, so we've, it doesn't smoke as, uh, as it used to. You'll see there the um, original brake master cylinder. That's been re-sleeved by Pass Parts and they did an amazing job with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely not into concourse or it's a practical um, runner, something that you can take to shows really. So the boots are quite cavernous um, on the Cortinas and the question is I guess, what do we all keep in the boots? Well the answer is spares and breakdown equipment. Yeah, the only two um, 
mods I've done to the car were done for practical purposes. Um, and you'll notice the first one is very obvious that I've upgraded the dynamo to be an alternator. The other thing is you'll probably spot these two extra cables uh, here and that's because I fitted electronic ignition for reliability. The rubbers have all come from East Kent Trim. I can't recommend those enough. Um, and these are uh, replica replacements from East Kent here as well, which I'm really pleased with. Just freshens up the car a bit. So how does the car drive? Well, it drives really, really well. Um, there's not a major difference between a modern car uh, and driving this Cortina. I suppose the standout difference is the brakes. Without a, uh, a servo, you really have to push that foot down um, to get any sort of uh, movement on the pedal. So the Cortina has zero security, and I can tell you for why. Every key is virtually identical. And if you haven't got the key, you could just use a nail. So there's two additional items I've used over the years. One is period correct. So I've got my 1971 crook clock, uh, and that's the one I mostly use. However, if I'm leaving the car for some time, um, and it's not a show, and I don't, um, I don't feel particularly that aesthetics are uh, an issue. I go with this big wheel clamp, and it's never let me down. Let's see how she starts. in five minutes. One last look around the car. you've got any comments or anything that you think um, I could improve or change yeah please let me know What I have done over the years is collect spares, so I've literally got enough spares now to uh, build another one. Let's have a look inside um, this arch that they've redone. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, that, would, that was all bubbled along there, so that looks a lot better. 